Gê! You already know why I'm here, Gê. <laughs> What's the deal, man? Saul Canelo Alvarez yeah. loses to Dimitri Bivol. <laughs> yeah. What happened? I mean, from, from the looks of things and from how I feel about it, like, he ran his course with the bully and the bigger guys. You know what I'm saying? This was this guy was a little too too big, a little uh, too tough than usual. Um, a little bit more de determined than Canelo was used to. If you look at a lot of those guys, uh, what was his name? Caleb Smith, Liam Smith. Uh, what was my what's my guy named Southpaw? Uh, Caleb Plant. No, 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 no. Caleb so Plant. Uh, if you look at Billy Joe Saunders, talk about yeah, Billy, Billy. Not so much Caleb Plant, but them other guys. They was so, they soft around the body. They don't, they really not a hundred sixty eight pounders. You know what I mean? They guys who had to move up eventually. Um, Bivu, the difference between Bivu, Bivu is a natural one hundred seventy five pounder turned pro one hundred seventy five pound. He's not blown up. So the shit Canelo, the shit Canelo was throwing. What's real is the shit he usually throw. It's just that it's just that Bivol wasn't there for him. He was either keeping his distance, keeping him on the end of the jab, or when he did allow, nah, I ain't gonna say allow Canelo, but when he did get in exchanges with Canelo, Canelo wasn't able to punch through his guard like he do with most people. You know what I'm saying? The punches wasn't as effective. And that's and that's that's just physics. That could happen. You in there with a bigger guy. Um, I had, to be honest, I had Canelo winning. I'm talking about before the fight. I had Canelo winning. I said that he would win on decision. You know what I mean? I was wrong. Anybody could be wrong in a fight like that. I was basing it off experience. But that night, the not, I ain't going to say that so much the youth, but the youth because even though they was the same, they the same age, Bivol don't have as much wear and tear at, uh, at, at, the, pro, at the pro career. Mm -hmm. Canelo been pro for a long time. You know what I'm saying? If he's 31 years old, he turned pro at 15, we talking about 16 years pro. You get what I'm saying? That's a long time. So, um, it was only going to happen like this. Uh, he didn't get destroyed, but he got taught a lesson. And the lesson is stay under 68. 68 or under. Don't don't come up here fucking with the, the you know, the, the Goliaths, you know? Do fans realize how big light heavyweights are? No. Nah, because people don't even pay attention to the light heavyweight division. Light heavyweight division hasn't had really too much light since uh, really Roy Jones. Roy Jones had light heavyweight on fire. I never knew what a light heavyweight was until Roy Jones went to light heavyweight. Uh, Kovalev did a pretty good job at light heavyweight, but I mean his Jones came and went. But he didn't, he didn't have that real hold on it like Roy had. So people don't really understand light heavyweight. And then when you when you got a guy who jump up and be a uh, drunk Kovalev, a uh, punched on Kovalev, you know, they, they going crazy. They're in a frenzy about it. But let's be real. Kovalev was ready. He was ready to go at that point. Bivol is in his prime. Bivol strong. Bivol is determined. Bivol know a little bit about boxing. He he don't come with a whole lot of tricks. And I think that's why Canelo took the fight because he didn't come with a whole lot. But what he, what he brought to the table was enough to get the job done because, like he said in the interview, I'm a man here, man. Why people think he can't be beat? He can be beat. You just got to swing. You got to let your hands go. A lot of guys now, they don't want to let their hands go. They don't want to fight. They want they, they want to beat you with a jab. They want to beat you with a left hand. I mean, straight left hand or a straight right hand. Or they just want to hit you with one shot and knock you out and think it's supposed to be over. Nobody really want to go through a war. You know what I'm saying? So that's what that was. C C Canelo, was, he was ready to fight. He wasn't prepared for a war. You know what I mean? Bivu was prepared for a war because he wanted that spot. You know what I mean? Great fight though. I like I like the fight. It was a good fight. It was good to see Canelo be really challenged. I mean, it, I wasn't too happy that he lost. I didn't care if he won or lost. He's not my favorite fighter, but I like him. And it was interesting to see him in a real fight. How do you feel like he responded to being challenged? Um, he responded like how fighters do. He didn't quit. He didn't get knocked out. I got a lot of respect for him for jumping up the light heavyweight and being able to fight on that level of light heavyweight. That's the world class level. You know what I'm saying? That's the big show. You the biggest. You you the biggest right now in boxing, and then you fighting. You fighting possibly the best at light heavyweight. One of them. You know what I mean? I feel good about it. It's, it's, it's a good. You know what I mean? It's a good thing. But it's just. It's just. You know what I mean? It's high. It's it's, it's a high level. You gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. 
What did he do wrong in the fight? Like, what would you change technically? Because they're saying it's going to be a rematch. So, how, what Canelo, you Canelo to me, right? He looked like if he can't get you in that in in, in that head space where you like overwhelmed by what he's doing, then he gonna have trouble. I wouldn't even look for the rematch. Leave Bivol the fuck alone. Cause Bivol's confident now. Bivol's Bivol's confident that he he can hit you. He can hurt you. So next time he might bring that body work that I was looking for. I was looking for him to go to that body. I mean, he might bring that to the next fight and hurt you. Now really hurt you. So I, if I was Canelo, I'd leave him the fuck alone. And I would go fight uh, J J J Jamal Charlo. I'll fight Benavidez. I'll fight Caleb Plant again. I'll fight, I'll fight anybody but Bivol or, or better be ass. Stay away from them dudes. They dangerous dudes, man. I remember Andre Ward got criticism for uh, saying to him, he better stay away from Bivo and better be. And now it looks like it, it rang true. Because, because what Andre Ward knows is he knows what a real light heavyweight look like because he's competed at the high class level of the real life. So people, a lot of people don't understand in boxing, and they swear they do. They, they, some of the fans are the worst because they don't listen. and They think they know. If you could go on box track, I'm going to say go on box track, and I'm going to say open, you know, sign up for an account so that you can see the weight classes. So that you can see the, these guys' actual weights when he fought in the past. A lot of guys coming up in, in the game, they fighting smaller guys that now fight at their weight class. That's not, that's not an even match. If I'm fighting a guy who, who fights at 47, 54, and he on the end of his career, and I'm fighting him at light heavyweight, and I'm really a light heavyweight, I'm turning pro at lightweight, the chances are I'm a lot stronger. I'm a lot more fresh. I'm, you know what I mean? I'm a younger guy, I'm up and coming. And I'm 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 gonna beat on him. But if you take a real light heavyweight, put him in there with another real light heavyweight, then you're gonna see who really the best at light heavyweight. Canelo, all he did was show us he's not no light heavyweight. Stay the fuck from around here. Don't keep playing in these parts. Um I was I was skinny growing up. Yeah. And you know, over time I gained weight. Yeah. So I was around 190 yeah. to 200 when I saw better be than Gavazic. Yeah. Now, before, I thought I was a light heavyweight because, you know, I'm weighing 200 pounds. Yeah. Until I seen better be than Gavazic. <laughs> they monsters, bro. And, them, you, and you got to understand, you know how, you know how the smaller fighters are breaking down from 160 to fight at 35, to fight at 30, to fight at 40. You know how the 54 pounders, they break it down from 180. Fuck you think a light heavyweight breaking down from? Light heavyweight walking around 200, 210. Some of, some of them might be 215, 220. Breaking down to 175. You know what I'm saying? You gotta leave them dudes alone. I like Canelo, but you mean he gotta he gotta leave them guys alone if he wanna continue. He gotta fight 168 on down. Don't don't fuck with light heavyweight no more. You get hurt like that. You know what I mean? You definitely get hurt. For sure. YSL Sports Media is the truth. You don't have to go nowhere and get all of your boxing news. We got it right here. No gossip, just boxing. YSL is always on topic. Hit the like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing when I drop it. YSL Sports Media. YSL Sports Media.